Your Peoria Riverman game highlights are brought to you by the shops at Grand Prairie. Shot back in behind, now Lord Anthony Grissom to play. Blind back and pass goes right for a touch one. Back door to Jansen, he scores. Lord Anthony Grissom gave it away and it winds up in the back of his net. Roanoke leads at one nothing. Line gets by wisely. Base the circle, tries to in front of shot, off the goal post! That hit off of two goal posts. Hagman trying to one-hand it out himself, couldn't do it. Elves here, Peoria's four, dancing over the line. Right wing side, at the dot, into the corner. Feeds in the slot, here's a shot, big save by Jack Berry. Batted down in behind. Behind Kolchewski, held in the left side, point by Neville, pinching in. Neville, cycles one to Wisely, right the dot, his shot deflected, save made there by Bernard, and Casey Kolchewski wrestled down. That counts as the first two shots on goal. The contest by Peoria, 8-16 to go in the first period. In top left wing circle, Wilkie a drive, looking back door for Bear, deflected toward the goal, pucks loose, they jab away at it, and somehow Bernard was able to locate and cover that one. Okay, but the dogs control at the dot. They step into the line, right wing side, Jansen, right half boards, deflected on net, they score. Travis Broman deflected it upstairs over the glove of Jack Barry, it's a power play goal. Roanoke extends their lead, two nothing. Drops to Piotrowski, right wing side. Piotrowski pivots at the half boards, looking for open space. Feeds Neville to the right side. His shot, he scores! Right in front, Gertler got the deflection! His first playoff goal of the season's a big one, and it trims the Roanoke lead right in half. Ribbon on the board, they trail 2-1. Left side, now Neville, now to Hageman, right side. Down low for B Godbout, now Hageman, now Neville. He switches places with Hageman. Here's Hagman, one time pad save, rebound Barry, couldn't stuff it home. Big pad save there. Delayed penalty up called against Roanoke. Here's Godbout, that's a one time shot by Hagman, save made by Bernard, and the penalty will be assessed. Cross checking is the call. But 7.52 to go in regulation time. This might be a must convert. Doubtful Pierre is going to get another opportunity here, down 2 to 1. Face off the left of Bernard, the draw. Contested the half boards, won by Peoria. McPherson. To gob out right half boards. Peoria looking to get set up. They do as they get up to the line. Neville, cross ice pass to Bear. Left side half boards. Now in the middle, Nick Neville. Over the right for gob out. Walks in. First, he scores! Marcel gob out a bullet from the top of the right wing circle. And the Ribbon have tied the game with 7.37 to go in regulation time. Side corner. Pressure for Larry. Trying to wrap around attempt. Big save by Jack Perry. And the Ribbon ice this puck down the length of the ice. Here come the Ruman, here's Laley up ahead. Full head of steam on the line, left wing side, here's a shot, glove save there by Bernard, and he'll hold. Ruman have another offensive zone drop coming with 43.3 seconds to play. Martin and Kolchewski having words after the whistle. Away from Mitch McPherson, gone about back on his feet, trying to help out as well. Comes free to Ford, left side half boards. Looking cross size, that pass behind Jansen. Disrupted by Grissom, but taken back by Jones. He'll reset with five seconds to go, and we are going. Two overtime. There's a hero on that ice surface. We just don't know who it is yet. Next goal wins and Peoria gets it. They clinch their first President's Cup championship here as a member of the Southern Professional Hockey League and their first postseason title since 2000. Rono gets it. We're going back to the River City for a decisive game five of this series on Thursday night. They're ready to get going at center. The draw. Rimmon win it. We're underway in OT. Ring side. Tap forward by Ford. Looking in behind. Couple buys collide there. DL Dion fights through it. Feeds one indirect to the left side, now into the middle. For Marcel, Gobout skates the right side. Over the line, Gobout trying to dance his way into the right side corner. Turn around, shot sailed high. Buck Aaron right to Ernst, left side, half boards. Turn around, shot, he scores! Right in front, Ernst with the shot. Got down the deflection. The 22-year drought is over. The Peoria Rivermen are Southern Professional Hockey League champions. They win the President's Cup. 3-2 final in overtime, a minute and six seconds in. Unbelievable.
think of the journey that he went on to get here in this postseason. Brandon McMartin, who was injured, was unable to play in this series. He's got equipment on. He's back out onto the ice with his teammates to celebrate this win. But John Guitardell having to vanquish an old foe in the Pensacola Ice Flyers. Did it in three games at home. Having to turn out and defeat their rivals, the Quad City Storm, and one of his former pupils in Dave Shinitsny. After falling down in that series, one game to nothing, won two straight at home to bring themselves here. And now, in game four, in overtime, John Guy Trudell and the Peoria Riverman defeat Dan Bremner and the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs. Final score tonight, 3-2 in overtime. Goaltender Jack Berry is your playoff MVP. Came in in relief for Eric Levine in game two of the Pensacola series. Was in the losing effort in that one, but he was solid the rest of the way. Finishes these playoffs with a 6-3-0 record in the postseason. He was the reason Peoria had a chance to win, not only last night, but tonight as well. And he is the reason why Peoria is victorious here this evening. A large part of that, he was solid in the first period, the second period, and the third period. Rono came on, Jack Berry was there to make the stop. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the presentation of the President's Cup for the first time to the Peoria Riverman. And Alec Hageman who Hoist of the Cup with Pensacola last season when his team was not playing, finally does so in his hometown jersey for his hometown team. 